Yep, it's that time of the week again, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Thursday, we are back for what is going to be another huge trip to the thrift episode. So many items found. Let's get into it. We're going to kick things off in a category that I know and love, the DVDs. This one here, Prime Suspect. I picked this up for a dollar. It's a nine-disc DVD, which you don't often find for a dollar. But the comps are even better on eBay. I should be able to get about 40 bucks for this one here. We're trying to find stuff like this today, guys. And I actually found a stack more DVDs in the op shop that this one was in. So let's dive into that one. And I'll show you what else I picked up. Now, I'd actually never heard of these DVD series. We've got Borgen, one, two, and three. It goes for about $40. I've also got Scott and Bailey. I'm just missing one season. I've got seasons one, two, four, and five here. Still should get about 40 bucks. The Hour, series one and two, that should get me about 30. And Prime Suspect, another 40. So a good $150 worth of DVDs right there. Lonsdale Puffer Jacket. Wasn't sure about this one. It's an Instagram viewer poll question. $25 on this one in light new condition. Let me know your thoughts. And then we've got the Calgary Flames NHL hockey t-shirt for eight bucks, size medium. Whenever I'm seeing that, I'm picking it up. Some die-cast model cars here, guys. It's a bit of a collection here. The Deluxe Edition, we've got the Jaguar. E-Type, um, 20 bucks on all of these, and there were about eight of them all up. I did a bit of comp searching, and in the end, I reluctantly passed. I didn't cut any form of deal. Probably a fair decision with that uh, Lonsdale puffer jacket. A lot of you guys saying to go ahead and drop it. $25, it's a lot of money for a single item of clothing. I personally haven't sold the brand Lonsdale too much in the past myself, and we are coming into the summertime here in Australia as well, so um, I just don't think it's really worthwhile holding on to that $25 investment at this time of year. But let me know in the comments below if you've sold the brand Lonsdale, because I personally haven't, and um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's something I'll look at if you guys think I should. Here's a brand for all you clothing resellers out there. We've got Barney Cool. It's a size large, and uh, this one was only $7. So I really like the thorough look on this one as well. So I'm going to push about $35, bucks and I'm probably going to get it. Um, also got these as well. These are the ASICs, uh, plain black running shoes. Um, these are the TRs, $8 purchase price. I'm going to go for about $60 bucks on those. They were in pretty good condition. Instagram viewer poll question here. We've got the Columbia Waterproof Hiking Shoes. Now, I have bought a lot of hiking shoes over my time as a reseller, and Columbia is a pretty decent brand. But would you pay the 20 bucks? for those ones there, let me know. Uh, we've also got these as well, the Adidas Ultra Boost 19s. These are basically never worn. I'm talking like new condition. It's a $20 price point. I'm happy to buy it. US size nine, should turn into about a hundred bucks. How about the F Troop series, guys? Have you guys watched this one before? Well, it's brand new condition. I've got four episodes in every single one, so 32 episodes. There's 65 episodes in the series. Um, so I've got to hand and pick that up for $8. And then I'll, I also grabbed the nine. 10 into about 60. How about that? Very interesting Instagram viewer poll question there. A lot of you guys saying to go ahead and cop the Columbia waterproof boots, and I think that's a good decision. I definitely think it's worth picking up for $20. On this occasion, I didn't buy the shoes just because you guys know how many shoes I've got sitting at home waiting to be sold. So rather than putting up 20 bucks, hopefully I can find them again for 10 to $15 somewhere else, and I'll go ahead and buy them then. But if you're just starting out, you're low on inventory, $20 for a pair of Columbias, I definitely think they're worthwhile. Hey, not too bad of a run so far, guys. We're two op shops down. We've got Two to go. Uh, let's dive into the third one and we'll see what we can grab there. Uh, wouldn't be a trip to the thrift without my problem with the plush continuing. How about this one though? We've got the Nintendo Mario here, $2. He's only a little guy, but a very cool plush nonetheless. We've also got the Clifford. Remember this? Remember this TV show? We've got Clifford the Big Red Dog here for $8. I've got to get out of here, guys. I have got a real problem. The Newies. Uh, we've got the Newey 574s here. A really nice pair of women's shoes, $15. Have a look at the condition. We are talking... Very, very good, and I should be able to get a good top dollar. Uh, NTS uh, C there, that one, and PAL as well. I just wanted to highlight that because you really want to be making sure you're getting video games that do say PAL. Um, just thought I'd put that into the video. I, I didn't find too many video games in this thrift, but I did find a PlayStation 2 headset. Um, genuine product here, only a $7 price tag. It was sealed as well, so I'll see how I go there. Um, almost, almost bought these shoes. Uh, they were really good. The Gel Pole 6s, $20 though. The soles were great. I reluctantly passed, just like those Columbias. I just didn't want to be spending 20 on shoes. Um, I am happy to spend $6 on a pair of Nike track pants, which is what we're looking at right here. Size extra large, that one should turn into about 30. And I've got a brand new with tags. Always good at this time of year to be buying brand new. Uh, we've got the uh, North Queensland Cowboys Rugby League top there for just the $8. Uh, that was a size small. Brisbane Lions, uh, never hat. I'm always picking these ones up. Don't sleep on the hats, guys. Uh, should be a $30 turnaround. The Mad Hueys, we've got the Lobster Shack here, size 
size medium. That should turn into about 25 to 30. I've just paid the five bucks. And you wouldn't believe it, I've found another Lonsdale. I've gone ahead with this one. It was only $5. We'll see what we can make out of that. Very, very happy with this find here, though. It was an Instagram viewer poll question. Michael Jordan, number 23. We've got the Nike T. This one is a size 3XL. It fits more of an XL, 2XL, though. A really, really great grab. Only a $10. I put this one up as an Instagram viewer poll, but you know what I'm going to do. There was no deliberating this Instagram viewer poll question. Genuine Nike, Jordan 23. That is just a sick t-shirt, size 3XL. So, um, look, 10 bucks. It's a little bit more than I'd normally pay for an item of clothing. But um, having said that, though, I think it'd be a fast sell for about $25 to $30 something like that. Uh, I also found probably the best item of the day in that third round. I'm going to hold on to it for my 30% club members that stick around to the end of the video. So if you want to check out what I deem to be an absolute cracker, we'll see you in the end of the fourth. A few more DVDs that I was sifting through. They weren't massive winners, but Coldplay, sure, and then we've got another one, Physical Evidence as well. They all go for about $15. Found a pair of hokers in the shoe section. $12, although I actually passed based on the soles that you were just looking at there. It just seemed to be a little bit too much wear. Um, now, this was an Instagram viewer poll question. Again, I was just really, really hesitant around the soles of these shoes. Look at that. Look, for $15, I don't know. Let's put it up to you guys. Let me know. Would you buy those shoes if you saw them they are Joel Nimbus 16s though it's a ripping pair of shoes uh, and these Nikes were just as good as well until I turn them over and I've got the same deliberation they are worn soles and I don't typically like to buy that anymore these were really good though these are the Brooks, uh, Brooks the Brooks Glycerin 18s here now the soles are actually relatively okay and it was a $15 price point, so I did pick those ones up. Uh, there was some fabric tears. Now you might, no, you probably didn't see it in the footage, but there was a fabric tear on the toe, so I did pass on those as well. So when it comes to selling my shoes, guys, it's all about sourcing really good quality, and we did a bit of a soul check there on those ASICS Gel Nimbus 16s, $15, really good pair of shoes, tick, tick, but the soles, unfortunately, were a miss. Uh, you guys did say to drop them, and that's exactly what I've gone ahead and done. And um, the last item of the day, guys, it's been a pretty decent day so far. The Ultra Boost 19s, they were a pretty cool pickup. Some solid DVDs as well right at the start. But this item here, I deem to be the absolute best. And it's a single stitch. It's a Harley Davidson double-sided vintage t-shirt. Have a look at this. We've got a Deadwood Harley Davidson on the front. And on the back, we've got Sturgis South Dakota Harley Davidson right there. That thing is an absolute beauty. Size extra large, I would give it a nine out of 10, uh, nine and a half out of 10 even. The condition of this thing is excellent. Um, and it's single stitch as well. So could not be more stoked about that find. No doubt the best of the day. Um, we'll be sitting up on my eBay store for anybody that wants to jump on there and purchase it. Um, appreciate you being here, guys. My 30% club is that stick around to the end. I cannot thank you enough. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you found some awesome items yourself in the thrift this week. Let me know in the comments below what you were able to find. Um, I'm gonna leave a video right here of last week's trip to the thrift. Hopefully you caught it. If you didn't, jump on, on board over there, guys, and tune into that one. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you on Sunday. Have a good one.